the first thing you're going to want to do is download this UF2 file. So you're going to go to this Raspberry Pi Pico or Raspberry Pi dot com documentations, microcontrollers, and you'll go into once again microcontrollers, MicroPython, and then once you're in here, you go on down. This video, you can watch it, and it'll show you how to basically just plug in the microcontroller um, and then go to the th basically when you, you press that bootloader, when you press the bootloader, you're going to drag and drop this UF2 file, which is basically the USocket. Um, and this will allow you to communicate with uh, the, the IDE, the, the Raspberry Pi Pico, uh, and it'll allow you to get onto the internet you, for the REPL. So for me, I have the Pico with Wi-Fi. So I clicked this one and I downloaded it already. However, you can uh, click on whichever one you need, whichever one you're using. Some of these kind of tell you that they're unofficial. Like at the bottom here, it says unofficial. Um, this is the latest one. But I'm going to use this one, which is the latest one. And I can download that one. This is the original. And once you get done with that, you can come here. So once you drag and drop, um, which I have a I have a screenshot I'll show here. And then once you drag and drop, you will come down to here. So you'll go to pi pi.org. You'll go into the MicroPython Max 30102 MicroPython driver. Now for my cases, it lets you do it manually if you don't have internet access. However, I did it with internet. Basically, if we start from the we start from the top here. The driver usage is straight, quite straightforward. It actually is. You don't need to do all this. Um, so to put this library inside of my your project, they changed it from UPIP to MPIP, and in this package manager. You will go to the shell once you have corrected the interpreter to accept the communication lines of the import MIP to the MIP installed. These are the only, this is literally the only code you need to be able to upload the Max 30 102 driver because otherwise. You would have to go to the data sheet and you would have to read this overarching system diagram. Um, this is basically, uh, this is the app application code. This is all of your programming. Uh, you have the hardware framework, which is basically like for what our case will be the Raspberry Pi Pico. And you have a driver. This driver is what allows you to communicate with the I square C port, the serial data, serial clock. So you need to configure the driver, basically, so that you communicate can communicate with the Max 3102. Um, and this will give you the ambient, this is the ambient light, which we use for the human subject to get the data to the photodiode. Um, so you have to go through this whole thing. You don't need all that. What you really need to focus on is this section here, your pen description to understand the pens. And then you would need to come to here so you know the registers. So if you know the registers, you can communicate depending on which uh, address you want to communicate with. and you can basically build this on your own. Um, also, if any of you actually are interested in reverse engineering the uh, Max 3102 library, 
I'm definitely up for the challenge if you guys are interested in a video like that. Now, moving on to the Thani. IDE, I'm going to plug in, and you're going to press that button, you're going to plug it in, let me make sure this thing's running, okay, now for my purposes, you're going to get back to this section right here, and this is just the empty shell, now, we're going to copy the file we just downloaded from the MicroPython or really the Raspberry Pi uh, .com website. We're going to copy that in. Got it from our downloads. And when we copy that in, we're going to then go to the Thani IDE. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure my view is available. So we'll go to files. So now we're at the Raspberry Pi. We're inside of my thing. Um, doesn't matter. So this already has it downloaded technically because um, I did this before. However, we can just do it again. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to come here. And before we get to the import MIP, we need to get on the Internet. We need to get we need to access this through the internet. So okay. So this is the error I was running into. And uh on the thing here is what we're gonna use. So we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna come back to here. I'm gonna paste it. Now we're going to change our SSD and our password. And instead of having the this here, we're going to change it to this here. So now, okay, so now, we get to our network, WLAN, true, and our SSID password. Now, obviously, I'm not going to post that here. However, you would take your password, say, for example, you'll say uh, Genesis, uh, we'll say zero, and your password would be, for example, YouTube123, right? You'll plug that in. You'll put import MIP, M MIP install, and then you'll hit enter. It's going to access the internet or really your Wi-Fi. And then it's going to go to the GitHub section here. And it's going to download this driver. 